Good morning friends, I am Purva and today we will work out the following question. A factory manufactures two types of screws A and B. Each type of screw requires the use of two machines, an automatic and a hand operated. It takes 4 minutes on the automatic and 6 minutes on hand operated machines to manufacture a package of screws A, while it takes 6 minutes on automatic and 3 minutes on the hand operated machines to manufacture a package of screws B. Each machine is available for at the most 4 hours on any day. The manufacturer can sell a package of screws A at a profit of rupees 7 and screws B at a profit of rupees 10. Assuming that he can sell all the screws he manufactures, how many packages of each type should the factory owner produce in a day in order to maximize his profit? Determine the maximum profit. Let us begin with the solution now. Now we shall first formulate the linear programming problem according to the given conditions and then solve it. Now in the question we are given that assuming that the manufacturer can sell all screws he manufactures, how many packages of each type should the factory owner produce in a day in order to maximize his profit? So let number of packages of screws A produced be equal to X and number of packages of screws B produced be equal to Y. Now in the question we are given that it takes 4 minutes on the automatic and 6 minutes on hand operated machines to manufacture a package of screws A while it takes 6 minutes on automatic and 3 minutes on the hand operated machines to manufacture a package of screws B. And we are also given that each machine is available for at the most 4 hours on any day and the manufacturer can sell a package of screws A at a profit of rupees 7 and screws B at a profit of rupees 10. So we make the following table from the given data. Now from this table we can clearly see that the time required on automatic machine to produce a package of screws A is 4 minutes and a package of screws B is 6 minutes. While the time required on hand operated machine to produce a package of screws A is 6 minutes and a package of screws B is 3 minutes. We can also see that the maximum time for which automatic and hand operated machines are available is 240 minutes. We can also see that on selling a package of screws A, the manufacturer gets a profit of rupees 7 and on selling a package of screws B, the manufacturer gets a profit of rupees 10. So from the given information, we can find the inequalities. Now number of packages of screws A produced is equal to X and time taken on automatic machine to produce a package of screws A is 4 minutes so to produce X packages the time taken is 4 into X minutes and number of packages of screws B produced is equal to Y and time taken on automatic machine to produce one package of screws B is 6 minutes so to produce Y packages the time taken is 6 into Y minutes so the total time taken is 4x plus 6y and this is less than equal to 240 because we are given that each machine is available for a maximum of 240 minutes. This implies 2x plus 3y is less than equal to 120. This is our constraint 1. Now again time taken on hand operated machine to produce a package of screws A is 6 minutes. So to produce X packages the time taken is 6 into X minutes. 
and the time taken on hand operated machine to produce a package of screws b is 3 minutes so to produce y packages the time taken will be 3 into y minutes so the total time taken is 6x plus 3y and this is less than equal to 240 because we are given that each machine is available for a maximum of 240 minutes now this implies 2x plus y is less than equal to 80 this is our constraint 2 also we have x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 as the number of packages of screws a and b produced is greater than equal to 0 now according to the given problem we have to maximize the profit so we get the objective function as z is equal to 7x plus 10y Now the profit on one package of screws A is rupees seven. So on X packages the profit will be seven into X, and the profit on one package of screws B is rupees ten. So on Y packages the profit will be ten into Y. So the total profit is seven X plus ten Y, and so we get the objective function as Z is equal to seven X plus ten Y. Hence the linear programming problem becomes. maximize z is equal to 7x plus 10y subject to the constraints to x plus 3y less than equal to 120 2x plus y less than equal to 80 x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0 now the first inequality is 2x plus 3y less than equal to 120 and the line corresponding to this inequality is 2x plus 3y equal to 120 and the points 040 and 60 lie on this line so for drawing the graph and finding the feasible region subject to the given constraints we shall first draw the line representing the equation 2x plus 3y equal to 120 corresponding to the inequality 2x plus 3y less than equal to 120 on the graph by plotting the points 0 40 and 60 0 and then joining them so we have plotted the points 0 40 and 60 0 on the graph joined them and we have named the line as ab now this line ab divides the plane into two half planes we shall take the half plane that satisfies 2x plus 3y less than 120 that is the portion of the graph below this line ab along with the line ab in the feasible region for this inequality now the second inequality is 2x plus y less than equal to 80 and the line corresponding to this inequality is 2x plus y equal to 80 and the points 080 and 40 lie on this line So now we shall draw the line representing the equation 2x plus y equal to 80 on the same graph by plotting the points 0 80 and 40 0 which satisfy the equation and then joining them. So we have plotted the points 0 80 and 40 0 on the same graph joined them and we have named the line as CD. Now this line CD divides the plane into two half planes we shall take the half plane that satisfies 2x plus y less than 80 that is the portion of the graph to the left hand side of this line CD along with the line CD in the feasible region for this inequality 
Also, we have x greater than equal to zero and y greater than equal to zero, which implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. The lines AB and CD intersect each other at the point P. Thus, the shaded portion in the graph is the feasible region satisfying all the given constraints. Here, the feasible region is a convex polygon AODP with vertices 0, 40, 0, 0, 40, 0 and 30, 20. So, according to the corner point method, which states that the maximum or minimum value of a linear objective function over a convex polygon occurs at some vertex of the polygon. Maximum value of Z will occur at any of the above points. Therefore, we will calculate the value of Z is equal to 7X plus 10Y at these points. Now, Z is equal to 7 into 0 plus 10 into 40 at 0, 40 and this comes out to be equal to 400. Z is equal to 7 into 0 plus 10 into 0 at 0, 0 and this comes out to be equal to 0. Z is equal to 7 into 40 plus 10 into 0 at 40, 0 and this comes out to be equal to 280 and Z is equal to 7 into 30 plus 10 into 20 at 30, 20 and this comes out to be equal to 410. Hence, the maximum value of Z out of these four values is 410 which occurs at thirty twenty. now this implies x is equal to 30 and y is equal to 20 so we get thus maximum profit is equal to rupees 410 and number of packages of screws A is equal to 30 and number of packages of screws B is equal to 20. So we write our answer as 30 packages of screws A and 20 packages of screws B and maximum profit is equal to rupees 410. This is our answer. Hope you have understood the solution. Bye and take care.